Okay, then I intersect two times and I get something of dimension zero, but curves without tri I mean, uh, with a finite number of tricycle lines actually doesn't have any tricycle line at all. And are these two and then the threefold is contained in a quadric. So this is not possible and we get this. So in this situation I will define, so definition, this uh, is the so-called the triple locus, or the triple curve. Corresponding to the point P. I mean, I'm not interested in the curve itself. I'm just interested in th this curve is reducible or not. So maybe it changed when I change P, but I don't mind, okay? Very good. So um, after this introduction, maybe, or maybe I should speak about briefly about the four, four second, uh, four second lines. Because maybe it's not obvious a priori that actually this triple curve is actually triple in the sense that maybe the infinitely many tricycant lines passing through P might be quadricycant, quadricycant lines. But this is not the case, and I will show this. So I need something to write here. Okay, so this is the first remark, so this is one. This is about tricycants, so the same thing for four seconds. Let me consider S, four of X, inside uh, P5. Once again, we have two cases. If these two coincide, or maybe first don't coincide, then it's expected, this is not a theorem, this is a conjecture or expectation, if you prefer expectation, that uh, a0 of is different from 0. Si Jung knows this thing better than me. On the other hand, if this uh, is P5, we consider the, let me denote delta sorry, lambda, lambda p. This is, I will erase here, <coughs> so this is the set, set of points x in x such that the line px is a four second line. as in this case, and here P, of course, is not in X. And here the lemma is that uh, this is uh, a finite scheme for general, for general P. Mm. is finite. May be empty, but in any case, it's finite. And the proof is very simple. Assume it's not finite. So assume the dimension of uh, lambda p greater than or equal to one. Okay. So then, through every point, there passes infinitely many four second lines. So consider. S, which is by definition X intersect the hyperplane. So this is in P4, right? So then we have that this. I think this is clear, right? Because, I mean, if this is X in P5, if through this point there passes infinitely many, when I intersect, 
if, I con if the P4 passes through this point, there contains some of these lines, right? Because there are infinitely many, so intersect this curve in, right? In some points, so I get that th this equality, right? But this contradicts. Uh, the so-called dimension plus two lemma of Zibran contradicts the n plus two lemma. Let me write what this lemma says. This is a very nice theorem of Zibran saying that uh, S n plus two of x is at most of dimension n plus 1. Okay, x is smooth. I'm assuming smooth from the beginning, so it's a... Uh, if this is of positive dimension, take a hyperplane section and consider a point so assume that this is inside the edge, right? So then I have this cone, which is of dimension 2. And I'm intersecting with a hyperplane containing the vertex. So there are some lines inside, right? So this point is containing the quadricecant locus. Because if this line is contained, also these points are contained. So this line remains being four second line to the hyperplane section, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then through the general point, there passes some uh, four second lines, and this contradicts the n plus two second lemma, right? Okay. So as a corollary of this. The corollary gamma p is actually trisecant, actually triple. Okay, because this scheme is zero dimensional, so maybe this curve has uh, some four second line, but. Uh, not every trisecant line passing through a point is four second, right? This is what I what I claim here. Gamma p is this one, the tri the triple locus. Meaning that so the point p. The general trisecant line is actually trisecant and not four secant. Because otherwise, okay. Okay, so now I will give you uh, the sketch of the proof of the main theorem with Metzetti and the Poi. That I, that I actually mentioned before. And if you have in mind the proof of this, of this uh, remark, what I call theorem of star, meaning that uh, if, the, if a surface in P4 is not one normal, then the double curve is reducible, the proof is more or less the same. So this is the theorem. So if uh, x is in P5, not one normal, then uh, gamma, this is different from the anti set, is uh, reducible. Sorry? Too normal, thank you. Thank you. 
So first, why this is non-empty? Non so if this is empty, then we show that uh, H0 of X is containing a quadric, right? And then a result by quark again tell us that uh, X is too normal. Okay, so in particular, this is not empty. Okay, so now let me show the sketch of, the, of uh, this result. Let me start with what I call step one. Okay, so the hypothesis is that X is not too normal. Not too normal. What does it mean? It means that the second Veronese embedding is not one normal, B2 of X. Okay, this is inside B2 of P5, and this is in P20. It's not one normal. Okay, it's the same thing. This is non-degenerate. Why is it non-degenerate? It's non-degenerate because it's not containing a quadric. If it's containing a quadric, then uh, it's uh, too normal, right? Non-degenerate because sorry. Okay, so if this is not one normal, what it means? that exist there exists a variety x prime inside p21 and exists a point q in p21 such that the projection this is as in the previous statement the projection from q sorry this is b2 of x this is an isomorphism Okay, this is inside P21, this is inside P20. Okay. And this is the first step. This is quite clear, I think. So now I need something playing the role of the second variety of X prime. But here is different. I have to consider a different thing, and this is step two. Okay, let me denote by W. This is the cone of vertex. Mm, the cone of vertex uh, B two of P. Sorry, of vertex Q and base. Uh, B2 of P5, right? So this is a six-dimensional cone. And let me define V, which is the set of points such that there exists a conic, exists a conic contained in W, this is a conic passing through small w such that the intersection of uh, the conic and x prime, the length, is at least 3. Okay, and uh, if you want. I consider the closure. Okay. So this is the variety swept out by tricycan conics to x uh, to x prime. Right. So now note that, as Kanjin asks uh, in in the other in the other situation, Q does not belong to V. 
Why? If Q belongs to B, it means that there exists a trisecant conic passing through Q, but when I project, then there exists a trisecant line to X, right? And this is not possible, because this is a Veronese embedding and there are no trisecant lines. Okay, so Q is not here. In particular, it means that the dimension of B is bounded by 5. Right? Cannot be 6. This is 6, right? And this is contained here. This is irreducible. Here I can choose a, I mean, a 5 dimension, I mean, a, I can argue with uh, reducible components if necessary. This is not a problem. So this is of dimension at uh, most 5. And actually it's 5. Mm. So let me see how to put this. OK. Note that the projection of this contains a right maybe it's better if I make a picture okay so let's make a picture here we have P21 here we have P20 and here we have uh, P5, here we have X, here we have uh, point P, this is the Baroness embedding, this is the Baroness embedding, so this is B2. So here I have the big thing is the B2 of P5. And here I have the V2 of X. And this point I will denote it by P, the same V2 of P, but let me denote it by P. And here I have uh, the point Q, center of projection of this linear projection from Q. Here I have uh, what I denoted by X prime. I have the cone, right? This cone, maybe the picture is not fine because, okay. This is the big cone, this is uh, W. And I claim that V is something inside here. Okay. So how can I prove this? Okay, I know that the trisecant lines here fill up the whole P5, right? Because there is a curve. So the trisecant conics here fill up the whole thing, right? Because I'm just doing the Baroness embedding. So trisecant conics here fill up the whole ambient space. So these three points here, every time I have a conic, trisecant conic here, I can lift to a trisecant conic here, because I consider this cone, right? But here I have, the picture is not fine because, uh, okay. Here I should have uh, three points, but if I have three points, these points determine a plane, and this plane intersect this cone in a conic. And it's obviously contained in, in, in W. OK. So the statement is, every time I have a trisecant conic here, there is just a trisecant conic here such that this conic is mapped to this one. This works if, if it is not a four-secant 
because if it is four second there are more choices I have four points in a plane but I when I leave them they might be uh, in, a, in, a, in P3 so there are many, co many conics there but if I work with a real tricycle line there is just one okay but since I proved that the general tricycle is not four second then I have this okay I can lift conic tricycle conics here to tricycle conics here okay so in particular I have that uh, that these two are the same thing and uh, the dimension of B is 5 right okay now next ingredient Okay, let me continue here. Okay, now we will consider this map from V to uh, V2 of P5. Okay, this cannot be an isomorphism. Why? Because if it is an isomorphic, then the linear span of this is P20, but the X is inside this, and it's non-degenerate in P21, so this cannot be an isomorphic. And moreover, it cannot be birational. Why? Because if it is not a, an isomorphic, and it's, uh, if it is birational, then by the Tharinsky main theorem, there exists a positive dimensional fiber but uh, wh what are the fibers here? the fiber this is just a projection so the fiber of a point here is the whole line and it's, this is not possible because this point is not in, in V so it cannot be birational by Charinsky main theorem okay so in particular this map is of degree greater than than one, so this variety plays the role of the second variety in the two-dimensional case. Okay, very good. So I denote for general p for general p. Let me denote by let as in the previous case these are Q points that can be chosen uh, in general position because I can move P, P, P in P yeah P is in uh, well actually it's B2 of P it's in P20 I mean, it's not in P20, it's in D2 of P5. Okay. So now I can consider gamma prime of uh, Y. This is the set of points X prime in X such that the line uh, QI and x not the line sorry the conic such that there exists a tricycant conic uh, passing through uh, x and y Okay, so uh, let's see. Maybe can erase part of the picture. So this big thing is V. 
this is x prime. Let me make a p here. So I consider this line, this intersecting d point. Okay. And I consider the family of tricycle conics passing through these points. So. Okay. And this gives me a locus here which is one dimensional. And the same for the other for the other point. So here I have tricycle conics. Here I have tricycle conics, right? This is uh, more or less like the entry locus, so to speak. Okay, so then the key fact is that these two This is the same thing. Why is this true? This is true because here the general tricycant conic passing through P is exactly tricycant. So I can lift just in one way. So I can't make it pass through this point and this point. Okay? I can't have three points and these two in the same picture. So once you realize that this is true then you project down and you have uh, several components here then pi q of, since this is an isomorphism, pi is an isomorphism then uh, mm. Okay, so here I have two different things, and since this is an isomorphism, this implies that uh, gamma p is reducible. I don't understand, sorry. It is curve. Right? Yeah, Under this P. is... Is the union of cubic curve? I don't know. Don't know. <laughs> if ah, I, I know this, the yes. Part part <laughs> exactly. If we were able to yeah, prove yeah. this, we have the, the conjecture. Um, because, exactly, this was the strategy. So let me point out this. This is exactly what we tried to do, but we didn't succeed. So... Remember this picture. We have not one normal implies by severity that uh, x is Veronese. But I show in the theorem star that this implies that uh, reducible the double curve double curve is reducible. And here we have Franchetta. Okay, so we tried to make the same, the same tour. So not too normal was conjectured by uh, Peskin and Van de Ven that X is Palatini. We have proved that uh, the triple curve is reducible. If we were able to show us an analog of Franchetta, then we have proved the conjecture. So this was the strategy. And actually the strategy is to prove that this uh, triple curve is uh, 
actually made for made by plane cubic curves because in this way you have a big family of plane curves and you apply the result by Metzetti and Portelli plane cubic curves. yeah where they classify three faults in P5 with a three-dimensional family of uh, plane cubics yeah here the family is big because you can move the point and you get uh, I don't know exactly, I think it's three, if I'm not wrong. So that was the strategy. Try to find, after this first step, this was just the first step toward the conjecture. This is a quite difficult problem in my opinion. We did this first step, but the, the hard step is to show this, that if the triple curve is reducible, then it's Palatini. And the strategy is to prove that X is swept out by a big family of plane curves, which is actually what Franchetta did in the case of surfaces. But for surfaces it's simple because curves are divisors and you can play with this geometry, but for three force it's not so simple. I mean, so why the reduced triple is, is important to, to the I mean, the idea comes from this picture. Yeah. If uh, something with reducible double curve can be proved to be Veronese. We thought that maybe one can try instead of proving this conjecture directly, mm -hmm. something like Severi's theorem, try to find some analog of, of this one. Uh, so if the, the variety having the same dimension and the family of the double curve, but the, the, the double curve is uh, irreducible, then we cannot apply Exactly. So how to use the reducible is? In Franchetta's theorem, yeah. I don't remember exactly how it's proved. It's a long time that we work on these things, but uh, no, I don't remember where the reducibility of the double locus is, is used. I, I don't remember. We can look at the paper. I mean, this is not. This is an old paper by Metzetti and Portelli. It's called a, a tour through some classical results in something like this. And there is uh, there is a proof of Franchetta's theorem. And uh, I don't remember the way he used that the double curve is reducible to show that this is Veronese. I mean, of course, the idea is. If this curve is reduced, then you find conics, plane curves, and then you conclude, which is more or less the idea of Severi. The idea of Severi is this, the entry locus is a plane curve, and then a, a surface swept out by a two-dimensional family of plane curves is Veronese. So it's more or less the same, but it's not the same, because you play with a different input. Here you have infinitely many lines passing through the general point and here you start with reducible triple curve reducible double curve I mean in both cases you pass through the same way meaning that you have to prove that the surface is swept out by a two-dimensional <coughs> family of plane curves but uh, we thought that maybe this could be um, a good idea but actually we didn't succeed so Maybe it's not a good idea. <laughs> so, how about the, the other, another generalization? Assume it's some three dimensional failure of a three dimensional. The problem is that if you think of three normality, you come, I mean, the same construction is in P6, and there the variety is singular, and uh, I mean. In P6, Harson's conjectures should be true, and there's, there's nothing, there's no examples apart of complete intersection, so maybe it's not a good. Uh, you know who, tried, who, who has been trying through this way nowadays? No. no. I mean, if I'm not wrong, this is, uh, these stories are uh, an old idea of Peskin. I think Peskin introduced Metzetti into this problem and... Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
recently Gibran and the Lopez tried to do this uh, three years ago. Mm -hmm. They met in Rome. And we expected some result, but <laughs> failed, I think. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Yeah, that's more or less the. I'm not sure if this, is, this way is simple than this one. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. Okay, this is what I wanted to say. Thank you.